Hi, I'm Meg Riley, the Senior Minister at the Church of the Larger Fellowship, and you're looking at how we do theological reflection at the CLF. Five out of six of our seminarians and ministers and about-to-be ministers are here with us today, and I'll let them introduce themselves. So, hey everyone, my name is the Reverend Lara Campbell. Um, I am currently finishing my second year with the Church of the Larger Fellowship. Uh, my first year, I was involved in the online learning and pastoral care, and then this past year, I've been responsible for the worship services. And um, let's see, I am currently the candidate for a congregation in Maine, and I can tell you that one of the things that when I was in candidating for congregations that was constantly brought up was how great um, my knowledge of technology and my video work, how much the congregations really appreciated that I was willing to go there with them um, and be willing to explore the possibility of other ways of doing worship and being in community other than just Sunday morning. Hi, everybody. My name is Patrice Curtis. Uh, I will be ordained in November, just having seen the MFC. Yay. Um, I have been at CLF for a year, and I've been involved with pastoral care and worship. And I think the best way to describe what CLF has given me, or one of the ways, is that I just went to uh, the Pacific Central District UUMA chapters minister's retreat and at that retreat someone did an odyssey and i you might not know what an odyssey is but it's this fantastic um event where one person is chosen to basically tell their entire life story so this is a minister who starts <laughs> pretty much from the day they were born and talks about the richness of their life uh and it's just uh, it was the second one i'd been to and it is amazing and at this one the minister wanted a recording of the event. And so the, the person nearest to her had a camera that someone handed to her, an iPhone, and she was holding it in her hand. And I realized that that wasn't going to work. And being the good CLF person I am, I brought a tripod to work with my smartphone in case I saw some opportunity. So I ran to my room and got the, I got the tripod, set the iPhone on it, and away we went for about a half an hour. And then that iPhone ran out of juice. And the person filming didn't really know what to do, but I could tell she was having some distress. So I went over and said what was going on, and she explained it to me. And so we got another cell phone. We, the last cell phone we had was mine, which was the third one. And the person doing the Odyssey came up and gave me a big hug and said, I am so glad that you were there. Thank you for helping. And a couple other people came up and said, wow, you look like you're the tech expert. All of this because of CLF. Hi, I'm Cassandra Hartley, and I attended seminary in Detroit Ecumenical Seminary in Detroit, Michigan, and I recently moved to Massachusetts. Thankfully, because I'm doing my internship with Church of the Larger Fellowship, I could be anywhere. I've been able to work while I travel. I've been able to work throughout the move. I've been able to work at CLF while having three kids at home. It's been a very flexible, supportive, warm environment for me. I'm an intern who's doing my entire internship with CLF, so I've been able to do a wide variety of things. I do pastoral care over the phone with people all over the world. I do pastoral care over email. There's so many different options, Facebook groups. I'm able to do small groups with Facebook and worship online, which has been a huge learning experience for me. And it's, I feel like I'm ready to move into community ministry and possibly entrepreneurial ministry because I've developed these wide range of skills and been able to connect with all these amazing people all over the world. Hi everyone, my name is Terry Bernor. I am currently a student at United Theological Seminary in the Twin Cities. Wrapping up, I've got um, just a little bit more time left. And I am doing um, an internship with the Church of the Larger Fellowship because I 
just love this whole intersection between this online world and this offline world. And I'm kind of um, a bit of a tech geek anyhow. Um, people at school call me the technology chaplain. Um, I just really love how technology can bring people together in different ways. And so one of the things I've been doing in CLF is exploring that. And the work that I've been doing here, whether it's been online learning or some of the behind the scenes work up amongst the um, CLF organization on how we integrate and connect all of the different platforms and way that we outreach to our people, our, our friends and supporters and congregants, um, has helped me to see um, where ministry can go and where ministry needs to go to meet um, all of the needs of people out there who who might not um, want to go into a traditional brick and mortar congregation or who might want something in addition to that. Um, and so as an intern, my work with the CLF has been so grounding to helping me in my discernment process and where I want my ministry to go. And it's also been a great prep for what I want to do in my official UU brick and mortar congregation, which I will need to do because I don't have a lot of congregational experience. So one of the big pieces of that internship will be helping them think about how they can do more work online, how they can look at how they can do worship differently that might bring in live streaming, how they can look at how they can integrate um, their digital ministry, which is really at the baby baby stages and how we can expand it. So the work that I've been doing with CLF will just tie and morph really, really well into um, my official UU internship that I will do um, in the coming uh, year or so. So I am just thrilled that I had this opportunity. And working with Meg and all these other interns, of course, is fabulous. I'm Scott Yeomans. I'm a first year student at Star King School for the Ministry, and it has been a delight to serve uh, Reverend Riley here at the Church of the Larger Fellowship. I also want to give a shout out to Reverend Lynn Unger, uh, poet, uh, word, uh, word uh, wizard extraordinaire. Uh, just a real pleasure uh, to be able to work with such uh, powerful uh, and present leaders of spirit in our faith. Um, much like the other uh, interns here, I do a variety of services from uh, helping uh, symbol worship to uh, chatting with uh, congregants, both in Facebook groups and during worship. Also had the pleasure to meet with uh, members in person, in the flesh. That does happen from time to time. So we aren't just a virtual group. We are the intersection of sort of the virtual and the real. Um, as Cassie mentioned, it's been a real blessing for me to be able to serve here because of the flexibility in terms of uh, my life has changed, as will yours, I'm sure. Uh, and so I've had to travel quite a bit, and CLF has given me the flexibility or has allowed me the flexibility to continue to serve in the midst of all of that. Um, it's been just a real blessing. I'm really grateful that this opportunity exists and uh, invite you to consider it as part of your formation. Scott and Patrice will be staying with us another year. Unfortunately, we're saying goodbye to Terry and Cassie and Laura. So we have openings for halftime interns next year. No matter where you are, no matter where you are in your process, we'd love to talk to you if the intersection of technology and ministry is of interest to you. You can see the information in the link about where to find out more. Thanks. Look us up.